Okay, so as a trainer, I cannot leave you without sharing one last tip. And this has to do some, with something that you do every day, whether you work out or not. And it is sit to stand, which is also known as squatting. So when you go to sit down, you one, need to make sure you're pushing your hips back. It is not a knee bend. You are not bending your knees. We're gonna start working on hinging back to sit down. And the key here for your belly is pay attention to your pelvis. So if I place my hands on my pelvis, I want to make sure that I'm not tipping forward or curling under. So if you notice your knees shoot out and you can't see your toes, you probably tilt under, you probably squeeze your glutes and tilt under. So if we think about pushing those hips back, the other very common thing is to tilt and you start to arch and look at this, what starts to happen? That belly pooch starts to occur and we change probably our breathing pattern and it, pressure gets pushed down again. So when you go to squat, I want you to think about keeping that pelvis in neutral when you squat. And when you do this, you're going to feel this core activate a lot more. So that is a great way, not only to one, uh, keep you from dealing with pressure down, also to keep you from opening up, creating split abs, but also to be working. You will be working your core out while you squat if you work on keeping that pelvis in neutral. So practice that. Again, let me know how it goes. And I just wish you the absolute best and hope that you are starting to see a difference in your own body.